If you don't know how to take pain, uh, you cannot be in politics. So I have to, as I said, there's a pain, never mind taking. Your skin must be so thick that never mind, the knife gonna cut away. They're a high beast. I'm a high beast. You know or not? We hear, you see? This is where the ground, the young people taught me, not me, you know, they taught me. So I'm a high beast akong, you know. Yeah, I also shocked. <laughs> <laughs> because when we started, we had 12 people. And these 12 people were actually my old Ayaraja chaps. And everybody laughed at me, you know. They feel so sad. Why they laugh at me? They say your old uh, dad's army, how to fight the PAP. PAP is so big, you're so small. It's difficult for us. We can, but if you're like, uh, my goodness, you have all of us, the spirit is strong, but the flesh is weak. <laughs> you cannot walk. Hey, but I'm still walking faster than all these guys. Uh. So with that, so I was quite lucky when many heard that I'm setting up this party and they came. And they came from all walks of life, you cannot imagine. And the numbers grew so fast, actually, I was like knocked off. Oh my God, how are we going to... Now I'm managing 12 people. I said, this thing go or go. Now, wow, you say this thing, so many views. So it's a challenge. A challenge how to organise thousands of people into a good organisation. Let's be open. So we took in all kinds of people. Give them a chance, a second chance. Some of them have fought in, other, in, 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 the, in the elections, other parties. Huh? So, so we have the question, do we take them or we don't take them? So my, my position is clear, it's okay, we will take all. And then we have our own rules and regulations. When they come in, they follow our rules and our regulations. And if they cannot comply, I think they will probably leave. And um, so we had a few of them who left us. We wish them good luck. We are not against them. If they were to use my party you know, to uh, champion their own cause. For example, we removed somebody who talked, I think something like hate, the, the racial thing. So we take them off. Those who want to, to exert themselves and look, I want this, this is my stand. You must follow this and all. Then I, I, I know. So you never hear him say anything in his interview about his family? Never. He knows, he's no. I, I said the line very clear. And he said, can I come and help you? First he joined me. You know? I did expect him to join me. The moment he joined me, under my terms already. Right? You cannot come and say, dictate to me what you want to do. And he kept his, his honour. So he was very good. He's now working like any other member, campaigning, uh, and uh, doing his part as a, as a party member. My call for, in this, for this election about accountability, the right transparency and independence of appointments of top civil servants or top people. Because this forms the basis of trust. We should cling to these values. Then our nation will grow strong. Because then when other people see us, see the quality of the people coming and the process of our political system is conducted in a really logical, fair way, we will get the respect, the confidence. So we work within the framework of the law. But you must speak. Because if you have fear of speaking, then I am sad that the country all are living in fear and how to go out into the world when they, yeah, they have this tag on us, you know, that these people are like ostrich, bury their head in the sand. Oh, sure. For me, friendship and politics are always separate. You see, I still like him. We may disagree on politics and uh, he may make poke fun at me. But that's good. Fun, poking fun at each other. It's okay, but I never poke fun at him. We have been friends for how many? Since RI days, you know. Wow, what's your 50 or 60 years? We all grow old together, we quarrel together, we play golf together. That's what this friend's about. I'm a Hokkien speaking Chinese. And I'm very proud of being a Hokkien speaking Chinese. So even if I cannot speak Mandarin, those who speak Mandarin uh, and insist I must speak Mandarin, I'm going to talk to them Hokkien because we're all Chinese. Actually, our time, we don't speak Mandarin, honest. But am I deficient? I don't think no. 
For 26 years, when I was in Parliament, I was the only person who don't know how to speak Mandarin. But I always get the very good votes, right? Why? <laughs> because I go and tell, I have a lot of people here, I have a lot of people here, I speak my own lingo, and they all, we all enjoy. Right?